Hey, it's been a couple weeks and one of the most popular videos that I've done in recent memory is my Dell Canvas review. So I'm gonna be doing a quick Q&A on some of the most common questions that I got down in the little comment section below. There is one compromise I've noticed, no eraser. That's a good point. That is totally something that I almost never look into because I hate flipping around my pen. It's so much easier for me to hit a shortcut key to toggle between brush and eraser that the idea of like flipping over my pen and then awkwardly trying to find the tip of it, meh. Yeah, so yeah, for some people that's definitely a trade-off. For me personally, nah, not so much. It's like a dollar store knockoff of the Surface Studio. No hate. That kind of sounds like hate. Also, I saw a lot of comments just saying, hey, this is like the Surface Studio, and I completely and totally disagree. This is like the Wacom Cintiq 27 QHD. It's it's a large drawing screen. I the Surface Studio is like an all-in-one thing. They both have large screens, they both have dials, but Outside of that, they're, they seem very different to me and I'm surprised at how often they get compared to each other. I keep thinking about the possible chance of a 27 inch iPad Pro, any thoughts? I just don't see that happening. Although what kind of blew me away is after he wrote this comment, there is a whole thread of people talking about how cool it would be to have a giant 27 inch iPad sitting on their desk. I guess it would be kind of cool to draw on a giant iPad, but at the same time, I think that is so niche. And the idea of an iPad that you can't actually carry around kind of goes against everything that the iPad is. So I, I don't know, I, I just don't see it, but I, I guess there's demand out there for it. I, I just don't know if there's enough demand. In fact, I'm, I'm willing to bet there's not enough demand out there for Apple to actually make something like this. Are there rumors out there of this happening that I just don't know about? Oh well. You need a desk with a sliding keyboard tray to use this. Yeah, that was probably the biggest thing about using this whole setup is it was so big that I didn't have a place to put my keyboard. And I didn't realize how much I needed a keyboard and how much I used a keyboard on a day-to-day -day basis and how much of my job is typing until I didn't have one or it was off to the side and it was really clumsy to use. With that said, I hate sliding keyboard trays. I like the knee room. Knee room is enjoyable. Hey, thanks for the informative review, but I gotta ask, what happened to the second totem? That's a great question. When Dell unveiled this way back at the beginning of this year, 2017. They had like a tiny totem and the totem that it actually shipped with. I guess at some point in time, they just bailed on the tiny totem. I need a tiny totem t-shirt. Would the Wacom Pen 1 work on this device? I think in the distant future, there would be a problem getting a replacement pen for the Dell canvas from Dell. That's a good question. I do not know. My hunch would be no, but... I'm not sure. I think as far as getting a replacement pen from Dell, any time in the near future and probably years into the future is probably not gonna be a problem. Dell is known for its support and supporting the devices that they have out there, especially like their premium stuff like the Canvas is. So I'm, I'm not too worried about that. How long does Dell let you keep these toys? I kept this one for a little over a month, but I had to send it back last week. And to be completely honest, I'm kind of glad to have my desk back. Fernando Care wrote a great review. Uh, I'll link it up down below. He had some problems with bad wobbly lines. And he asked me about that in one of his comments on the video. I personally didn't have any problem with the wobbly lines at all, so I thought his review was kind of interesting. Also, I got an email from Dell after my review went up and they said, hey, we were trying to troubleshoot this problem that somebody had may have been his review and they asked me if I had the problem or if I had done anything or installed anything that smoothed that out I had not so I don't know what was causing the problem I also installed it on two separate computers well the first computer had already came pre-installed on that was the one that Dell sent but then I tested it out on my laptop I installed it there and I didn't have any problems on that either so I don't know if it's isolated or if it's a bigger problem it's hard to tell someone else asked about this idea of being able to easily toggle between screens so for example on a Wacom tablet usually there is a button that toggles between your two screen setup. Like my Intuos tablet has this, so I can kind of use my pen to go back and forth between two different screens. Most of the tablets that I review, most of the Wacom Cintiq kind of knockoff things, they don't have anything like that. You, you can go into the settings, of course, and say, hey, I want you to focus on this other monitor over here instead of that monitor when I'm drawing. You can definitely do that. But what I'm, I'm talking about, what some people have asked about is, can I program that to a button that I can then switch very quickly without having to jump into the settings. In this case, on the uh, Dell, no, you can't do that, which is kind of a bummer. I, I think more people should make that easier to do. Those are my questions for the day. I hope I got to yours. If I didn't, yell at me down below in the comment section. That's all I've got. I'll probably be back in a few days with some more stuff, and I'll see you then.